Stay tuned for today's exciting message from Crosswinds International. Here is your host, Dr. Ronald Powell. Hello, beloved. This is Ron Powell at Crosswinds International. This afternoon, as I went into the prayer closet, the Lord gave me a word. It was the word steadfastness. I want to read some scripture to you before I tell you exactly what he said. I want the word of God itself to be the primary source of all of our moving, our guidance from the Lord. And he gave me four scriptures, and they came out of Hebrews and one out of Peter. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 2 says, For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast, and every transgression of disobedience received a just recompense of reward, the Lord is reminding us that whatever he says is going to come to pass in this scripture. Uh, the word that angels brought from the Lord, it came to pass. And uh, the words that we have received from the Lord, they've come to pass too. So uh, today, the word of God is steadfast. And he expects our words to be steadfast. In Hebrews chapter 3, verse 14, he says, We are made partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast under the end. We have to continue steadfast. And the adversary knows this. He's trying to wear down saints in this hour like uh, never before. And I want you to know that today as I went into the closet, I was aware of that warfare. But I understand uh, the adversary because the Holy Spirit says that he will give us wisdom above the wisdom of our enemy. And so he begins to impart to us those things that we need to know when we're facing an enemy. Uh, but he told us that we were made partakers with Christ if we hold uh, from the beginning our confidence steadfast unto the end. So he doesn't want us to be moving or shaken. Uh, the word of God is the word of God. It will come to pass. And God has never failed to allow his word to come to pass. In Hebrews 6:19 it says, Which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both uh, sure and steadfast, and which entereth into that within the veil. Uh, God has given us this word that we're going to be the inheritors, that we are uh, spiritual Israel. Those that believe in Jesus Christ are the circumcised according to the Spirit. Uh, we have the steadfastness that's given to us by the Spirit. He says we continue to in that hope uh, to the end. All of us are going to be able to enter into that veil with Christ. And then finally, a word for those of you that might be suffering. I don't know where you're at and what's going on in your life. Uh, certainly the Lord does, and he has a word for you this hour. But in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 9, it says, Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Sometimes the enemy tries to make you feel like you're absolutely alone, that nobody else in the world has ever experienced what you're experiencing. Now, this is the word the Lord spoke to me. He says, My beloved servants, uh, you have faithfully waged a war for me, but many of you have become weary in your well-doing. The spirit of burnout and depression and wounding have been assigned to rob you and wear you down. You have uh, thoughts of surrendering your call. I remind you that, uh, that this call came not by man and is without repentance. Yet while you're giving, the enemy brings criticism of your gifts. And while you extend love to the hurting, this spirit comes to bring you insult. But I say, arise up, O faithful warrior. Take your position at my side. I will heal your wounds and rout your enemy. You are not alone in this battle. And when you glance in my direction, my child, I will lead you in pursuit. Your enemy came at you one way, but he will flee in seven ways. And I will restore you uh, and comfort you. And beloved, don't look at people and say they did this or they did that, for your war is not with flesh and blood. Forgive those who have been instruments of discouragement. And they are blinded to their actions and know not the danger that is before them. Beloved, I have not sent you to the, uh, to the whole, but I have sent you to the wounded. And I remind you, it is I that give you the power, power over all the powers of the enemy, power of love, power of truth. This is absolute power over all the powers of a defeated foe. Carry my words of hope to the, uh, to the hopeless. Charge them to place a watch upon their speeches. Remind them uh, that with what measure they meet, it will be measured to them again. But you, my servant, must operate from humility and love. And I will give you victory, and I will restore the joy of serving. Arise from the dust. Stir up the gift within you. It's time to begin again. Your breakthrough is an action step away. You shall come again 
rejoicing. These are the words of the Lord, dear child. And from my house to yours today, be blessed. This is Ron Powell at Crosswinds International saying, hey, God bless you.